This programme contains strong language and sexual references from the outset and throughout. I'm excited to get his hair cut again. I know, he literally looks so cute when he has it done. My hairdresser Rochelle I've known for so long and she's got two kids. She's always there when I need someone for advice. He looks like his dad. Yeah, he does. How have you been? Um, good, really good. He's getting on OK. Yeah, I think, like, we went through a bit of, like, a stress. tough time during lockdown, but I, I think, think everyone everybody did. did. So, yeah. obviously, the stress will not be as bad now with you feeling better Yeah, every day. exactly, Cos exactly. Because I know that stress case you out. Yeah, of course. Because we were stuck in lockdown. I had a new baby. I was really ill with my bladder, like, all at the same time. It was a lot to deal with. But I think now that everything's a bit better, me and him are in a, such a good place. That's good. I think Marnie and Casey are doing really well, considering all the upsets they've had. Their relationship is just getting stronger each day. I'm just happy for the both of them. It's so thick already. I know. He's good, isn't he? He's just sitting nice and still. So, Rochelle, you know when I do start trying for a baby? Yeah. How can I uh, get a girl like what you did? I've always wanted one of each. I think now that I've got rocks, I've got my little boy, I think it would be so nice of me in case you had a little girl next. Did you do the shelters method? I did, yeah. And it, it worked? It worked, yeah. So you basically just have to have sex before you ovulate. Right, so wait A long there. time before. Right, so when you say that, so you ovulate on the 14th day? Yes, so like, do like the 10th. And what? also, do you have like to put your legs in the air. <laughs> I'm not joking, you do. <laughs> Is it funny? The legs up in the air, I mean, I have to discuss it with Casey and see if he's up for it. <laughs> do you imagine you with a girl? Like, she'd be so beautiful. Oh, thanks, what do you think? Yeah. I think she'd look, think she'd look like Rox. Oh, I God, think she'd yeah. look like you. She'd look like I think Rox. she'd have the dark hair and dark eyes. This is all, like, vegan and cruelty free, so it's OK for babies. So we just do a little style for you. Ooh! <laughs> that is too cute. Cutie pie. You're going to get all the girls now. Yeah. All done. Lovely. Is that OK? You look handsome. It does. I think Rox always looked like me when he was, like, younger, when he was born, and now he's definitely starting to look like Casey, and even more so with this new haircut. He's so handsome. Nice right. to meet you. Nice to meet you too. How are yeah. you feeling? Um, I'm feeling really excited because I've heard such really good things about this type of therapy. Mm -hmm. um, I gave birth about nine, month, nine and a half months ago. Oh, wow, OK. And about a few days after I came back from the hospital, I started getting real bad pain in my bladder. I've mm -hmm. always suffered with on and off bladder problems throughout my life, but it had never flared that bad. And it's left us really, like, anxious and I worry a lot and stuff. Mm -hmm. And it's just, yeah, it's really hard to deal with. Talk me through, then, what you do to cope when um, you're feeling really anxious. What do you do? I just cry. You just cry? <laughs> OK. I'm scared to, like, do certain things. So, like, I'm scared to have sex, I'm scared to drink alcohol, scared to take a bath, cos I know all these yeah. things can, like, trigger a flare. Yeah. And it's, it's, it's hard to live like that. This fear of having a flare-up, mm -hmm. it's like a shadow, a big, yeah. dark cloud. Yeah. dark cloud, yeah. When lockdown first started, that was when I was in the most pain. It was when everything was shutting down. Like, I was probably in the peak of my anxiety, peak of my worry, peak of everything. Um, and I think it was just so much trauma. It's just taken us a long time to get over it. It's about literally sitting and focusing on your breath. And when the mind wanders mm -hmm. to a thought or a worry or noticing a physical symptom such as a twinge, mm -hmm. you acknowledge where it's gone and you guide yourself back to the breath. Right. So it's about bringing your awareness back to what you're doing right now. So maybe that is playing with your little boy. Right. Or having dinner with your partner. Mm -hmm. You know that a problem or a discomfort or a worry is there, but you don't need to engage with it. Right. Just hearing my therapist explain ways to cope with my anxiety is really positive. I need to focus on all the good things like hanging out with Casey and Rox and not let the anxiety get in the way. Well, thank you so much for today. I'm feeling more confident that I can get on top of my anxiety and get back to work, which I love. Brilliant. Thank, thank you. you.
guys, it's Marnie here. If you want more Geordie OG videos like this one, then don't forget to like and subscribe now. What are you waiting for?